Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Here is a collection of different NDE stories. I hope these stories can give you some inspiration or hope. Let's start today's story. Like most young people, I love to skateboard. I am a person who dares challenges. I am very confident in my skateboarding skills. Except for first learning to skateboarding, I will wear protective gear, but I have not worn it in recent years, although I occasionally get injured. But they were all skin injuries. When I was 25 years old, I went to a skateboarding event with my friends. There were a lot of people there. When everyone cheered, people were very impulsive. I was proficient in difficult movements. At that time, I didn't wear a helmet, and my head fell heavily on the ground. I was sent to the hospital. The memory of being sent to the hospital is vague. When I was lying on the hospital bed, I suddenly saw three people wearing a man in a white robe standing by my bed. They looked like they were surrounded by flames. I'm scared because I want to put out the fire, but I don't know where to find the fire extinguisher. I realized these guys had no pain or sadness and I thought, this is so weird. Then I looked at the fire and realized it was brighter than the sun, but you could stare at it without hurting your eyes. However, it did not illuminate every corner of the ward. Although I don't know them, I seem to have known them for a long time, and we are like good friends. The one on the right put his hands in the air and I left my body. We floated off the ceiling first, which I thought might hurt, but not at all. We crossed the roof of the hospital and flew into the sky. I turned face down and saw the roof of the hospital from the sky. I later got confirmation from Google satellite imagery that it was neither a dream nor a hallucination. One angel was in front, two angels were by the side, and we flew very high. Then we start moving horizontally, faster than planes, they don't need wings to fly. I thought to myself, shouldn't the friction leave the pain of wind pressure? The angel in front didn't speak. He said, there's no friction here. I said, why wouldn't gravity make me fall? He replied, there is no gravity here. It was his answer. I started thinking about my job and college, and the angel told me, there's no pressure here. I asked, why don't we talk with our mouths? He replied, on earth, talking with your mouth will dry your throat. Then I said to him, I'm glad you speak English. How many languages do you speak? He said, all human languages. I asked him what the meaning of life was. He told me everyone has a different answer and needs to figure it out for himself. I asked him when the world would end and as a messenger of God he couldn't tell me the answer, we were flying all the time. Suddenly we started doing acrobatics. We flew straight through the clouds. It was exciting. This is the worst thing I've ever experienced. It's like riding a roller coaster, when you go over a hill with a higher one ahead, and traversing the clouds is like being kissed by a marshmallow. It's the best description I know, and it's just plain cool. It was fun that I didn't have when I was skateboarding. The angel in front slowly turned towards me, and the four of us stopped in midair. He said, we've got to go back. I said, this is so cool, I want to be like this forever. I begged him, I don't have kids, and I'm not married. No one needs me down there. My brain hurts, I don't want to go back to that body. I'd like to stay here. I was told, you'll recover. After that, I got a life memory. I went back to when I was a baby, in my mother's arms. 
I had no pressure, I felt happy and loved, and then I looked up at my mother, and I saw it was Jesus. He held me in his arms and embraced me, the love I felt was unmatched by anything in the world. It was perfect and it brought tears to my eyes as I longed to be embraced by Jesus again that IT was the most amazing thing ever and all of a sudden, I went to my mom's room and saw my mom crying uncontrollably on the couch like I'd never seen in my life. And then within a second, we were sent to my best friend's house and I witnessed him shaking and crying violently like I'd never seen before. I'd love to stay here. But what about my family and friends? I mourned my death. So I told the angel, okay, I'll go back. I was about to ask how I was going to get back, when I fell out of a plane, and in an instant I was back in my body. After being checked by a doctor, I had a severe concussion and was in the hospital for a week before returning home. I once told the doctor about my experience, but the doctor said with certainty that it was a hallucination caused by a concussion, and I also began to doubt whether what I experienced was real. To verify, I turned on the satellite map and set the location of the hospital. I was amazed to find the same perspective as I saw.